we can research on that. We shall research on that. I don't know. Okay, so uh, there we go. These are things you should understand because now you know that when you go to, to YouTube and you're using bundles, are repercussions, some of these things. But back to the friends per second thing here. I thought it would be interesting to use the same example, this video that I got, to show you that, um, that in fact, there, there are actually just multiple images being presented. So what I did was I extracted this, this, this video, by the way, is one minute and 39 seconds in size, I mean, in length, right? Yeah, if those of you that have watched this know it's one minute, 39 seconds. So what I did was I extracted all the frames associated with this video footage. And you realize that you can compute the theoretical number of frames by taking into account the time. If we are saying every, if we, if we are saying this video was shot using 30 FPS, then what that means is that uh, in every second, you have 30 images, right? Hmm? Yes. If, if every image has 30 images, then all you have to do is convert the one minute into seconds, obviously, which is 60, so 60 plus 39 times 30 will give you the total number of image frames associated with this thing. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying all of these things because you want to experiment with these things if you want to understand what's going on. Right? So go out there and extract the frames for whatever video footage you might be watching at that point in time and see the resulting number of images. So, a one minute, 39 seconds long video footage has roughly 2,970 frames associated with it. And these are the ones here, actually. They are actually, they are indeed 200 and, uh, in case people are wondering, I think I put them somewhere here. It's not gonna be a live demo, don't worry. Um, do you understand this? So I'm gonna go to video encoding and I'm gonna go into FPMS. So these are the different frames that are associated with this, um, with this, uh, with, with this particular uh, video that I uploaded onto YouTube, the demonstration of the BIOS, how the BIOS works. How cool is that, right? So, yeah? So you can do that as a single image? Yeah, if you, well, yes. No. You want us to do that? It's nice to not just talk about these things, but to actually see what's happening. Uh, so I'll, 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 use, I'll use Dolphin, which is a file explorer, right? And then I'll start viewing them one at a time. So this is the first, I'll use Dolphin and then I'll open it using Gwen View. So this is the first, and I hope this will work. This is the first frame, right? Zero, 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 one. This garbage is not working. First frame, yeah? Yeah, the one minute, 39 second long video has 2,700, about 2,970 frames. Yes, pictures. The pictures that are making up the, the, the thing, the video, right? So if, I, if we start, have you noticed that they're moving, right? You, can, you probably can't see here on top here, the number here, yeah? This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and, and in fact, if I, if I start doing it in rapid succession, notice that, and I'm not doing it kind of like fast enough the way video works, but if I start doing it fast enough, you notice that we're simulating what would happen to, um, to the so-called videos we are watching, right? This is what happens, this is how video is encoded. But of course, it's not as simplistic as how we are making it seem here because we have to encode sound as well as part of the video. Not only that, right, if you were to kind of like figure out the total size of, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the images, the total images, you notice that they might be slightly, the size might be slightly larger than, than the file used to extract the, the frames per second because it turns out that the so-called codecs or the software that, that uh, encode this video, used to encode this video, will apply some sort of compression techniques. The video has to be compressed. It's the thing we call video has to be compressed because the original size is so large, it combines the frames, the total number of frames, and the sound. So the size associated with the sound and the cumulative total of the images will, will comprise of the theoretical size of the image. So that has to be compressed uh, before the so-called uh, MKV file can be created or an MP4 file can be created. 
you understand this?